The Solitude of Alexander Selkirk, W. Cowper. This is the despair of a man stranded alone on a desert island. The blessings of humanity in companionship, friendship, and love are pined for and only felt briefly in memories or dreams. There is mercy, however, in rest and reconciliation to his lot. The Solitude of Alexander Selkirk I am monarch of all I survey, my right there is none to dispute. From the center all round to the sea, I am lord of the fowl and the brute. O solitude, where are the charms that sages have seen in thy face? Better dwell in the midst of alarms than reign in this horrible place. I am out of humanity's reach, I must finish my journey alone. Never hear the sweet music of speech, I start at the sound of my own. The beasts that roam over the plain, my form with indifferency, they are so unacquainted with man, their tameness is shocking to me. Society, friendship, and love divinely bestow bestowed upon man. Oh, had I the wings of a dove, how soon would I taste you again. My sorrows I then might assuage in the ways of religion and truth, might learn from the wisdom of age, and be cheered by the sallies of youth. Ye winds that have made me your sport, convey to this desolate shore some cordial endearing report of a land I shall visit no more. My friends, do they now and then send a wish or a thought after me? Oh, tell me I yet have a friend, though a friend I am never to see. How fleet is a glance of the mind compared with the speed of its flight. The tempest itself lags behind and the swift winged arrows of light. When I think of my own native land, in a moment I seem to be there. But alas, recollection at hand soon hurries me back to despair. But the sea fowl is gone to her nest. The beast is laid down in his lair. Even here is a season of rest, and I to my cabin repair. There is mercy in every place, and mercy encouraging thought gives even affliction a grace and reconciles man to his lot.